If you ever find yourself lost or injured in the wilderness in both the winter and summer, you want to give Vail Mountain Rescue a call. These guys will help rescue you for free by just calling 911. And I've got Tom from Vail Mountain Rescue in the studio this morning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. How are you doing today? Great. Yeah, so it didn't have a busy week as we were just chatting about. No, it's been, uh, you know, a lot of the a lot of people have left town. Um, if the mountain's closing, you know, we're getting less and less people in the backcountry. But with the mountains closing, there's still people, you know, it's pushing them into the backcountry to go skiing and to get their fix. So, yeah. um, you know, it, it's always just, you know, transition time for us between, you know, we've still got our snowmobiles and all that stuff ready to go. But uh, like on Saturday, we spent the day putting our whitewater trailer together because we were going to, you know, there's already people on the river. Um, and with the, you know, the great snow we've had this year, uh, more, more and more people are going to, you know, start transitioning from skiing to rafting, kayaking, and whatever else, you know, stand-up paddleboarding they do on the river. Yeah, it's going to be fairly dangerous conditions, especially to start the year off out there. Well, it, it all depends on, on, on the weather. If it, gets, if it stays like it has been where we have warm and then cool, warm and then cool, um, the water doesn't rise as fast. But if we all of a sudden get a really warm spell, you know, for a week or two on end, that's just going to bring, you know, bring the water up really quick. Yeah, that'll essentially cause massive snow melts, and it'll just all funnel right into the rivers. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So what are some, some tips for people going out there and, and getting into the white water? Well, our, our first thing is put your name, put your phone number on your gear. That way, if we do find a boat, if we do find a paddle, a life jacket, you know, on in the river, we can call you and say, hey, is this yours? Are you okay? Um, there's so many times that we'll get called, um, you know, to a raft or a kayak that's just floating down the river. We have no idea whose it is. And unless they call 911 to say, hey, I lost my kayak, we, you know, we we've had kayaks sitting at our at our cache for for months. Yeah, you don't before, know somebody before seen. people come and claim them. Yeah, and somebody could have been injured in that and just stranded out there. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's a really easy easy tip. It just takes a sharpie marker. Exactly. And you know, you you have to be prepared. Just like if you're going into the backcountry, you have to have you know the proper uh, protection with a wet suit or a dry suit. Um, because the water is so cold, hypothermia sets in very quickly. Um, you have to have a life jacket, helmet, you know, and you know, per other personal protective equipment that that you'd need, whether it be in a raft or a kayak. Yeah. Do you do you find yourself having more missions over whitewater than than what we experience in the summer in the winter time? Uh, generally, yes. Okay. Um, because just because of the fact that we have one major river, it's right next to the highway. If somebody sees a boat, you know, just floating down, they're going to call 911. Yeah. Um, whether they're a boater or not. So generally, you know, when when they call 911, fire gets there first. Uh, we are anywhere from 30 to 30 minutes to an hour from getting there, depending on where where it is in the valley and where our team is. Yeah. So. All right. Well, perfect. Well, thank you uh, for this first one. We're going to come take a little break, come back with you, Tom. Okay. Um, get some more whitewater tips. And coming up next, we're going to take a look at the local weather.